Hello, welcome to Sunset Studios. Today we are going to make this adorable bunny. It could be considered for Easter or it could just be considered a bunny. So I'm going to use a nice big oval shaped rock that's smooth that I happened to get at the beach. I've put two coats of white on it and I have taken my pencil and drawn the design but I will go over it. And so I started with the ears, a nice big ear, a little line that's part of his head, and then an ear that's floppy or folded to the side, okay? And then from there, it's just a simple rounded curved line for his head on both sides and you are ready. Um, because we're on a white rock and the rabbit is white, we can just make a nice big nose. Oops. Okay. Well, that's crooked, so I'm gonna have to fix that. But then, here, I will fix that real quick. I'm using my eraser. Okay, I'll start that again. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to make a big nose because there's not much on his face except his eyes, which I have kind of curving in. And then he's gonna have eyebrows like that. And his nose is gonna be a nice shade of pink. Then inside the ears, there's going to be pink as well. So I'm just gonna sort of draw that too, okay? So we are ready to go. I'm gonna pour my paint and I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay. My paint is poured, I have my thin brush and I'm ready to start with his nose which honestly is still crooked, but that's okay. <laughs> that will give him character. Once I do it twice and it comes out crooked both times, I just leave it and say, oh well. Okay, that's a messed up nose, but I'm gonna go with it. I'll see how cute he looks at the end. Okay, we've got this nice dark pink, which I really like. I have a lighter pink as well, but I kind of like the bright one. Okay, there we go. And now I'm just gonna do his eyes, which are black. And they're really leaning over, which I think makes them pretty expressive. Kind of sad almost, <laughs> but I still like him. And okay, I'm gonna dry this and put another coat of pink. Okay, he's been dried. He's got a couple of coats of pink on his nose and ears and his eyes. And now I am going to take my thicker brush, a little bit thicker, and I am going to use a blue for the background of the rock. And I don't think I've done a video this way before where I've painted the background after the design has been drawn. So I just thought it would be a different way to show you how you can do the background. So this is a really pretty easy design to go around because there's it's simple. Um, I could use my thinner brush. If you only have one brush, I would always take a thinner rather than a thicker because it's easier for getting into the small spaces. Uh, okay. Like right in here. You just need to go a little bit slower when you have to do those careful spaces. Okay. 
Okay. I could have left this white, but because he is white, the, the bunny, it just, that would seem kind of a little boring to leave it white. You could do any background color, of course, that you like. I have a tendency to pick this blue a lot. I love this color. I can tell you the name of it, just in case you like. It's called Blue Bonnet, and it's from Apple Barrel. Okay. A few more spots, and I'm all set here. This is also a nice color because it goes on pretty thick. I will probably do another coat, but, you know, you may be able to get away with one coat. Oops, one more forgot about this. This wouldn't be a bad time for me to switch to my thinner brush, but I'm just going to stick with this one as I'm almost done. Okay. Okay, so we're almost done with this design. We have some finishing touches, and I am going to dry this and go over it one more time with the blue. Okay, I've gone over the background again, and we are ready for finishing touches, which means we're almost done. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start with this little line there. I'm going to go right over the ears. Go hold this. Okay, and then, oops. And then I want to go over this nose. And then I can go over the inside too. Okay, now I feel like I did kind of mess up a tiny bit over here. So I'm gonna just do a little tiny touch up Right there and right there. I had a little blue showing. But this is if you're being really picky. And the nice thing about a rock is at the end, you have this fun little piece of art that you made, but at the same time, it's just a rock. So it really doesn't need to be that perfect. Okay. I'll show you how I'm going to dry it real quick. Okay, and make sure that's dry. And then I'm just going to go over that line one more time. Now that's a little thicker, so I may just take the time and go over this side too, just so they look about the same thickness. But that is basically this, the rock, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll give me a thumbs up. Please keep watching and, oh, I forgot something. I'm so sorry, friends. We forgot to do our little eyes with the white.
Oopsie. <laughs> no, that's way too big. Okay, so instead of using that one, I need to find a really, really small... Oh, I know. I have to use the pencil tip, and I forgot. So I'm just going to do one eye, because one I made a mistake on. There. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do with that one. I'm going to dry it, paint it black, and do it over. So just look at that eye, and you'll see. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, and you'll see on my picture of before you start the video that this will be all fixed. Have fun. I'm back super quick to fix the eye because I felt bad that that wasn't quite right. There we go. He's all set. This one I did two tiny dots. You can do one or two. It really doesn't matter. Can't, thanks for watching. See you soon.